In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a software brightness controller to your Linux system. Now, I'm using Ubuntu Mate 18.04.3, the long term support, and this works for Ubuntu and the Ubuntu derivatives. Now, in this case, I'm using the traditional menu, and when I install the brightness controller, it will add it in my accessories. And there's other ways that you can move it where you want to, but that's the default location it will be adding it to. Now, to start with, if you found this this video on YouTube I will provide a link to my web page where it shows you how you can install it but before you actually can install the program you need to add a PPA to your system so you just simply copy you open up your terminal and you paste this into your terminal press the enter or return key and type in your password and press the enter return key again and it will go through and it will ask you uh, to press the enter key again and so once you press the enter key it starts adding the PPA now the next thing you want to do is to update your PPAs after you install it I'm gonna right click this and have this on the clipboard and while it's going through the process now once you get it installed as you can see here it will add it to the accessory menu if you have your traditional menu set up uh, and I zoomed in a little closer so I show you illustrated steps on installing it and using the brightness controller now we're going to install two things the brightness controller and the brightness controller simple the brightness controller simple has a much smaller dialog box so now since we're done let's update our PPAs and while that's updating I'm gonna copy this next command where it says sudo app get install the brightness controller simple and that's the one at the very bottom it's a very small dialog box and that's hint the name simple and then the next one's the brightness controller which is a little bit more feature rich than the simple one so let me put in the sudo app get install the brightness control simple now you may be prompted I've I've already installed this once so it's reached out and got the uh, the files that it needs uh, for it you may be prompted for yes if you have any dependencies to add to your system and same thing for this one it may ask you to install some dependencies but because I did this uh, yesterday uh, it probably won't prompt me for yes now I tried to record this yesterday and I will say up front that you're not going to see the dimness control now once you're finished with this type exit or close your terminal now the program will be placed in your applications here you can see its brightness controller and brightness control simple now when I click on the brightness controller it will load a dialog box the brightness controller dialog box and it will load an icon in your system tray to let you know it's running in the background now if I click the close button and let it finish loading everything it needs to the background now if I click the close button here close window it's only going to close this window the dialog box so when you set these settings and you close that it's not going to minimize here it's just going to close this box but it's still going to be running in the background uh, because you don't want to keep a dialog box minimized to your panel down here taking up space so when you hit close it doesn't close the box it or close the program it just closes the dialog box now as I was saying earlier uh, when I move the primary and if I had a secondary monitor which I don't and I were just these settings you're not gonna see them on my screen recorder I screen recorded this yesterday using simple screen recorder and as I move these and when I rewatch the video it did not change on the video apparently these screen recorders record the data before it gets to your monitor so it doesn't change what you're seeing on the results of your monitor and I used Voco screen recorder and I used OBS and it was the same result so I thought I'll do some screen capturing with images to show you actually what it looks like so as you can see here when I'm moving the bright primary brightness down I'm looking at it getting dimmer and dimmer you're not seeing anything because of the way the screen recorder works and if I had a secondary monitor I could control the brightness here but it won't let me move anything because I do not have a secondary monitor connected to the system I have a primary monitor I can adjust the brightness of my red my greens and my blues I could just simply move the slider up and down for each color now if I did have a secondary monitor I could have some preset settings for these that I could use for each monitor which in this case I don't but there are some default color temperature settings that I could go through and click on you will not see the difference so there's no need for me to waste your time and click on these if you want to see the difference you can install the brightness controller uh, and use click on these settings for yourself and like I said once you get a preset settings and you hit the close dialog box 
here it's still running in the background so if you decreased it to like 60 percent or 67 percent it's still dimmed on your screen the way you close it is you click on this icon you can always re make it reappear by clicking show or you can go click on this icon and click quit a message dialog box will appear saying are you sure you want to quit if you're sure you want to quit you hit yes and it removes itself the icon from the system tray and your monitor will go back to the default settings now before I show you the simple uh, brightness controller I will let you know that if you're using this on a desktop system and your external monitor has a brightness controller on the monitor and you, let's say for example you've got it set at 60 percent because it was at nighttime you reduce the brightness and that means that this brightness controller even if you have it turned up to 100 percent cannot go past the setting on your monitor so 100 percent with the software brightness controller is only 100 percent or 60 percent or whatever your value you have set on your monitor now let me go to the other one the simple one if I go to brightness controller simple it will bring up a much smaller dialog box and if you have more monitors they will be displayed here mine is truncated or cut off because I only have a primary monitor I have only one slider and I'm seeing it getting dimmer but for the video you can't now let me show you I do have uh, some pictures in my brightness controller the miscellaneous folder here if you look this is the default settings like when I first brought it up if I were to reduce this it will make it look dimmer so hopefully the video is picking up the image seeing the difference between the brightener controller the default settings and reducing the dimness of uh, the slider here moving to the next one here's the brightness controller simple this is the default setting reducing that value makes the screen appear dimmer so if you are looking for something to control the brightness let's say during the daytime you're competing with light coming in through your windows you may need the brightness to be increased during the day but at nighttime you might want to reduce it since it's dark in the room and you won't, don't want it to be too bright you can use this to control the brightness of your system hopefully this has helped you understand how you can install a brightness controller to your Linux system or Ubuntu or Ubuntu derivative system and how you can adjust the brightness uh, to your liking and hopefully this has been beneficial to you and have a great day.